Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen just launched in early access. And I'm going to show you how to download that and get it installed on Linux. So if you go to pantheonmmo.com slash download, you can click on this download patcher. Once you have that, then you'll open up Steam. Add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse. Go to download, select your Pantheon setup. I'm gonna hit cancel here, but you're gonna hit open. And then you should have uh, Pantheon setup.exe here. Just right click on that, properties, compatibility, and make sure it's on Proton GE 9-21. And to get Proton GE, we're just gonna use Proton Up QT. To get Proton Up QT, you can download my toolbox, and it's part of that. But uh, you just make sure your Steam selected, add version, and you can select 9-21. All right, and for those folks that don't know how to get Proton GE, let me go ahead and grab my toolbox real quick. So it's just github.com, the Linux IT guy, and we want the toolbox. Just gonna scroll down here, get clone. This is the command that you'll need. I'm just gonna copy that, bring up a terminal, paste that in. And of course, I've already got it installed. Okay, so when you paste that in, it's just gonna pull it up, but since I already have it, I need to CD in the toolbox. Python 3 main, here we go. So I didn't have to download it, I already had it. But um, when you put in that first command, it'll pop up here. So then just scroll through and under gaming, you'll see Proton Up QT, which is a flat pack. When you click on run here, it's going to go out to FlatHub and it's going to download Proton Up QT for you. Um, once that's finished, it'll the toolbox will finish and it'll show you a message. Let me see if I try to run this, what's going to happen here. Okay, I've already got it, but yours will show eight steps of it downloading the dependencies and whatnot. And then once it's finished, it'll say applications have been installed and or removed. You just hit OK and then quit. And then you'll go into Proton Up QT. QT. And this is what that looks like. You'll have your Steam listed here. You just want to click on Add Version. And I've already got 9-21, so let me go ahead and download 9-20 just to have another version here to show you for an example. I'm going to click on install there. It's going to go out and grab it. It's downloaded 9-20. And again, you'll want the 9-21 or whatever the latest and greatest is at the time. Okay, and you, now you can see 9-20, yours will show 9-21. Just hit close on that. You can close the terminal. And when you go into Steam, you can go to Steam Settings. And then under Compatibility, you'll just want to make sure that GE-Proton9-21 is selected. Then you'll hit Play, run through the install. It's going to install the game for you. If you try to launch it, after the install, you're going to get a code 50 error message, and I'm about to show you how to fix that. So once that's finished, we're going to go up to Steam, Settings, Storage. This is going to show you where your games are installed, right? So if you click on these three dots, Browse Folder, it's going to bring you into Steam Apps. You want Compat Data. And then how you can find it is modified. So you can say, um, you can look at it at the modified date here. And I know 50 minutes ago, this is the one that I did. But if you just installed it, it's going to say just now. So you go in there, go into PFX, C, and then you want users, Steam user, and 
my documents, my games, Pantheon. And you want this config file here. So you can see I right click, copied and pasted, and then you did, I did a underscore original just as a backup. But we can right click this, open, go into Kate, and we want to scroll down and it's line 50. So actually this is the modified one. Let me, let me go into the original so you can see this is what yours will look like. So you scroll down and here's line 50. It's got all this uh, system windows forms, junk. You can delete line 50, 51, 52. Just backspace that out, save it. And then you want to go back into Steam. Well, actually, this is your path to get to, to Pantheon Launcher. So go ahead and copy this. Pull Steam back up. You can close out of that. Right click on Pantheon Properties. And now we're going to change it from the setup file to the actual Pantheon launcher. So basically you want to paste in the, um, the path to that Pantheon launcher here, slash Pantheon launcher.exe. You want all that to be in parentheses because you'll notice my games has a space in it. So if you don't put these parentheses in there, it's not going to know, you know, that path that you're talking about. It's not going to figure that out. And then start in is basically the same thing minus the, the Pantheon launcher.exe. So once you've got that in there, make sure compatibility, you've got your Proton GE. Just you click on play. And it's going to bring up the Pantheon launcher. And once you've got that, just go ahead and log in. You'll, you'll be presented with a patch. Uh, most likely there's, you know, it's got to download all the patches and it's got to uncompress them. It takes, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes for that to complete on my machine anyway. Uh, but once that's done, you'll, you'll see the play button show up here. Just click on play. And we're in the game. And you can select a server. I'll just create a new one here. Create character. We'll be a human warrior. We'll just randomize him. Appearance random. Doesn't matter for the video. Create. And I'm sorry for running through this. I'm normally a lot slower and explain things more, but I'm just trying to hurry up and get this video made and get it out there so these folks that are trying to play this game on Linux are actually able to get in and, you know, play the game. But uh, I'm running this on a NVIDIA 3050, an RTX 3050. Not very impressed with the uh, frames that I'm getting, but I'm not very impressed with this video card either. So more than likely, you'll probably get better performance. But uh, yeah, just a quick tutorial on how you can get into Pantheon Rise of the Fallen on Linux. If you found this video helpful, here are some other great videos that you may find helpful and informative. This has been Chris, the Linux IT guy. And I'll see you in the next one.